Hi, welcome back. This is lesson 45 in our Excel video series. Today we're going to talk about conditional formatting. I've got some dummy data here for collections for oh seven physicians in five years. This kind of a lot of numbers. And what I really want to know is, you know, somewhere show me the show me the ones that are doing really well uh, or the ones that are had good years. And let's say I define good years as more than seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. I want to know those. So I'm going to click on conditional formatting, and this is the area we're going to talk about today, highlight sales rules. We're going to look at greater than first, and I want to know everybody that collected more than $750,000. And look at it format as we go here. As I'm typing it in, it's saying, okay, I'll format that for you, and I'll let you see what it's going to look like. Light red fill with dark red text. There are a couple of defaults set up here. I'm going to do green fill with dark green text because it's good for me that I'm. those are my high collectors, so I'm going to make them green. And that fast I've got it, and as data changes, uh, the formatting stays, and it, you can always see 2006 was a good year in this random set of data, where uh, three of our physicians were over that threshold. Well, now I want to, let's find ones that had bad years. So I'm going to uh, highlight the same area, conditional format, highlight sales rules. Let's find the ones that are less than $550,000. And you can see right away Excel's trying to help me format those. Let's assume for whatever reason, you know, I don't want it to be exactly like that. I want to make it look a little bit different. From this drop down box, here's custom format. And what you can do is a whole bunch of things. You can change the way that the numbers are formatted. Um, you can change some font rate information. Let's change the color instead of to red, let's just make it this dark orange thing and we can make a fill look like that and we can come back to font and we could make it italic and click OK. So I've got a little sample of what it's going to look like. I'm move this out of the way and it says for sales less than 550,000 here's my rule use the custom format you click OK and there it is. And if I recalculate the data I can see boy 2008 was a bad year in this random year because four of my physicians were under my my low threshold in 2008 look how fast it is to catch that kind of thing and it makes it really easy to not have to sort or filter the data necessarily at a glance you can see hey 2008 was a bad year and you know Dr. C's had two good years in a row and it's really easy to see those kind of things I want to show you um, a little bit more about condition, the conditional formatting and the highlight cells rules. Let's assume I've got a whole list of physicians in here, and I do have a whole list. I think I've got 50 of them. And what I want to know in this list is I want to find text that contains, and it looks at Dr. Smith, and I just want to, I want everybody who starts with S. So you can see, look, um, I'm, I've already got Simmons here. It knows that I'm going to find everybody with Dr. S. Now let's find everybody. Uh, if you just want S, you can do S and an asterisk. And let's just do red text to make it easy to see. And I have a couple of S's. And it was pretty easy to find them. And you can just go down through there. Now if I only want, let's say I want physicians. Uh, let me show you it this way. Let's go to Manage Rules. And it will show you for that current selection, here's the rules you have in place. You have cell value contains doctor, and here's how I'm going to format it, and here's the cells it applies to. If, you're going to. if you want to, you can edit that rule, and we're back to a similar kind of menu to what we had up in conditional formatting. I want to format only cells that contain specific text. And we, there's a bunch of options here that we can play with in, in future lectures. But let's say I want ones that have S, any letter, and then two M's. So I'm only going to find um, Simmons in this thing, probably. And instead of formatting that, I want it to be dark blue. And to make it easier for you to see, we're going to put some nasty yellow highlight on it and click OK. Now, in a perfect world, it's going to come back and show me. If we apply it and click OK. There's Dr. Simmons right there. He's the only one that meets my text-based criteria. Let me show you one more way you can use text. Let's say you're looking at CPT codes, and these are random numbers, but let's assume that 
it's important to you to know what the fourth digit in the CPT code is for something that you use in your practice or the third digit. A lot of times you use the fifth digit for A&M codes to know uh, the level. But let's just do the fourth digit because. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select here's my list of CPT codes. I'm going to go to condition, conditional formatting, highlight sales rules, and I want text that contains CPT code. And then what I'm going to do is we'll get that six, but let's just say I want everything. The question mark is a placeholder for one of any number you want. And so what I've got is give me any of the first three digits. Make sure there's a six. Give me any la and give me any digit you want there. And we'll do a red border around it and click OK. And now there's one and there's one. And those are the only two I have. So what I wanted to show you in this lesson in 45 was conditional formatting, the first set of rules. I want to look at greater than, less than, between, equal to, obviously works the same way. And there's some text-based rules as well. Fast and easy ways to look at your data and see what's going on. Stay tuned next time. I want to talk about dates and how to find duplicate values in a list using conditional formatting. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.